Hello and welcome back. This is Candace with another video on the Possum Stamps YouTube channel. Today I have one of my very well-known spinner cards using no special dies, so let's get started. So I'm starting off with the Sweet Cupcake stamp set, which has a lot of really great images, but I really like these smaller kind of chocolate ones, and these are perfect for this technique, although this could work with larger or smaller images. You'll just have to adjust the sizes of the circles, which you'll see a bit later on. So I'm stamping several of these. I didn't use all of them on today's card, but I did use quite a few, and I'll show you the coloring before I die cut them off screen. So for this one, I tried to make it look like milk and dark chocolate using a few different brown shades of the Copic markers that I'm using. I also, you'll see in a second, come in with a more caramel sort of color with my Y colors, and I really like that and ended up using it for some of the other chocolates as well. I am also going to color the heart on the top of that with some lighter um, shade of the R series, and I ended up liking that quite a bit more than the darker ones that you'll see me use here, so I ended up changing my mind and not using these ones for this card, um, but I did use the lighter R series to color some of this same stamped image in the exact same way. I just felt it looked better um, with the other ones that I had already colored. So I'm going to add some white highlights to this and Kavya on the design team has a really awesome technique on how to do this that she shared over on Instagram. So I kind of followed that to add some white highlights to these little candies before we are going to put them on the card. So for my card base, I decided to ink blend it in a Neapolitan ice cream sort of fashion. It was inspired by the colors that I chose uh, for the candies, which I didn't even realize until I was doing it. And so I used a vanilla sort of color, a cotton candy color for the strawberry, and then a dark chocolate color. As you can see, the dark chocolate took a bit of work to blend, um, but the more I went over it, the smoother it went. And as you can see, if you make any sort of ink blending mistakes or you get color where it shouldn't be, I use my Tombow Mono Sand Eraser to just pick that up, and you can't see it at all in the final card. So once I was happy with the ink blending, we are going to move on to stamping the sentiment on this center circle. So I'm going to use the one that says you're the sweetest from the macaroon stamp set, which I think is super cute. And this circle is going to be a little bit smaller than my other two. So for this, you're going to have a spacer circle, and then you're going to have the one that your actual stamped images are going to sit on, which is just a little bit bigger than the spacer. And again, you can adjust the sizes of the circles uh, based on how big your stamped images are. These ones, I ended up kind of uh, putting them around to make sure that they would fit really well. Sometimes I measure this, but this time I did freehand it. It usually works pretty well if you line up the top and bottom and then the two sides and you can space all your other stamped images evenly, but I knew that these ones were going to fit around because I had laid it out um, just before I had done all of my gluing. You're also going to want to make sure you're not gluing this on your card base or you might accidentally glue some of those down. I also like to go in and add some foam tape behind my stamped images just to give them a little bit of lift off the cardstock so the recipient can actually spin the mechanism. So now you can either take your ring piece or the piece that the cupcakes are sitting on and you're going to want to circle your foam tape around in that. This is regular foam tape. I just took both sides of the adhesive off so it was easier to kind of finagle into the shape I needed. Then I'm coming in with my anti-static powder tool and I'm going to put that around the sides so that my spacer piece and my ring piece with the stamped images don't get stuck at all. I'm going to add some foam tape down to the center just to make sure that my sentiment is well supported and I like to come in with some glue just to make sure that it's going to stick really well and then as you can see you can spin that perfectly and it's going to be a super fun interactive card that your recipient will love so i hope you enjoyed this technique as always we appreciate the time that you spend here with us don't forget to subscribe to the possum stamps youtube channel if you haven't already and i will see you in another video bye